We're starting with a country few people expect to see on this list, the United States. More than 40 million Americans depend on a single river system, the Colorado River, and that system is failing. Lake Mead and Lake Powell, the two largest reservoirs in the country, are now at their lowest levels since they were first filled. Entire farming regions in Arizona and California are being shut down. Hydropower production is declining. Cities like Las Vegas are preparing for permanent water rationing. The most dangerous part isn't drought alone, it's over allocation. For decades, the Colorado River has been promised to more people than it can realistically support. Climate change didn't create this crisis, it exposed it. And once reservoirs fall below critical thresholds, recovery becomes nearly impossible. In 2018, Cape Town nearly became the first major city in modern history to turn off its taps completely. Officials publicly announced a day zero, the moment when households would be cut off from running water. The city avoided catastrophe through emergency rationing, but the underlying problem never disappeared. Rainfall across Southern Africa is becoming more erratic. Infrastructure is aging, and inequality has turned water access into a social fault line. While wealthy neighborhoods drill private wells, poorer communities face intermittent supply. Other cities, including Johannesburg and Durban, are now approaching similar conditions. Cape Town wasn't an anomaly, it was a warning. Northern China is drying out at an extraordinary pace. The North China Plain, the region that feeds hundreds of millions of people, has been pumping groundwater faster than it can naturally recharge for decades. Entire cities, including Beijing, are sinking as aquifers collapse beneath them. At the same time, major rivers like the Yangtze have experienced historic droughts, forcing factories to shut down and hydroelectric dams to reduce output. China has responded with massive engineering projects, including diverting rivers from the south to the north. But even these systems are struggling to keep up with demand. When China faces water shortages, the effects ripple through the entire global economy.